Hi, so this uh, segment of the videoing is going to show how to uh, change your tire. The, the first thing I want to cover with everybody is safety again. So I want to make sure everybody understands that if you have a, a flat tire and uh, or you develop a flat tire while you're driving, you want to make sure that you pull over in a safe place that is level and that your car is in park and the parking brake is on so that the car doesn't roll away or roll on top of you or possibly um, that the jack becomes unstable and uh, the car falls on you. So there's two things we're gonna need for this. One's gonna be our tire iron or uh, some cars may come with a, uh, you might be able to purchase like a tire cross. It has different sizes of um, lug nut hex sizes like this. This is for this car um, and it's usually in the back by your spare tire um, and it's in your trunk. The next thing you're going to need is like a service type of jack like this. This is a screw jack, it usually comes in the trunk of the car. Um, and it's got this type of crank on it, which makes the screw jack expand. And that's what lifts up your, lifts, lifts up your car. Um, and if you look at the top of the screw jack here, we have this kind of notched section. This would go into your pinch weld, which I'm going to show you next on the vehicle. So your pinch weld uh, is down here at the bottom of the car. Um, there are different design pinch welds on different kinds of cars. The best way to find out which pinch weld you have is to look in your owner's manual and exactly where you should be lifting your car. This is a front wheel drive vehicle. So our pinch weld is right here. Um, other full size vehicles with full size frames like trucks, for example, they don't have pinch welds, you lift them, their jacking points are at the frame. Okay, so you may need a, a bigger jack. So I'm gonna just set this up so there's a little bit of pressure on the pinch weld in that notch of the jack. I'm not gonna lift the car yet at all because I'm gonna need to break the lug nuts free before um, I lift the vehicle off the ground. That's a big mistake uh, amateurs make sometimes they try to lift the vehicle up off the ground before they break the lug nuts free and uh, the result would be the wheel spinning. So we're going to go over to our wheel now, break the lug nuts free and then I'm going to lift the vehicle up on this flat surface and, uh, and then we're, we're going to take it from there. So let's move over to the wheel. I'm going to break the lug nuts free. Then we do it in a star type pattern we're not going to take the lug nuts out we're just going to take the lug just break them free and when i get the wheel all the lug nuts free off the the wheel then i'm going to lift the vehicle up so now that my lug nuts are free i'm going to turn this in a clockwise motion to make the screw jack go up might take a few minutes to get this high enough to lift the car off the ground. Uh, if, if you notice, you can see that the jack has now been cranked up. Um, and I'm just about lifting up the vehicle now on this one side. Um, I want to ensure everybody, again, or make sure that everybody understands that safety is the utmost importance here. So if you cannot get the car into a safe location where this kind of work could be done, please call AAA um, to either move the vehicle or, or um, have somebody do it for you so that, so that you uh, don't have any accidents. Now the wheel is off the ground. Um, our jack is in a secure, safe location. We are in a safe place. Now I'm gonna finish taking out the lug nuts. Now that these are have been broken free, it will be a little easier to take them off. This will go by a little bit quicker. Um, one tip I can give you is to make sure that you don't lose these. If you are gonna be delayed at any time, make sure you put them in the car, like in a cup holder or on the passenger floor. So at this point, I'm gonna just uh, rock the wheel back and forth a little bit. Oh, this one's actually a little stuck. So one trick I've learned over the years is to give it a little kick at the bottom corner. Uh, usually the wheel will break free. So back up here a second. There we go. So the wheel's now free where we can take our spare tire um, from our trunk and uh, which should be inflated and checked while you, while you check your other tires when you fill gas. 
Um, so we're gonna take our spare tire and put it on uh, to replace this this flat. Um, so don't be surprised if you look in your trunk and you see a different sized rim and tire. That might be what is known in the industry as a donut. Um, that would be an emergency spare tire. They usually have a um, 50 or 60 mile limitation on how far you can drive. They're much skinnier. And basically it's, it's only for emergencies uh, where you could take your tire, go get it fixed or replaced, and then you'd put the the uh, replaced tire back on, on your car. So I'm gonna use this um, this tire to show how to put it uh, how to put the rim and tire back on this car safely so if, if this was repaired I would take the tire line up all my my studs back in the hole again and then the the rule we follow is to start at the very top of the wheel put that lug nut in first by hand and uh, then I'm gonna do a star type pattern to ensure that the, the lug nuts are going on uh, equally and we're putting an equal amount of force from the top first uh, around in a circle or in a triangular pattern um, to make sure that my wheel doesn't go on crooked so at this time I'm gonna just follow the uh, just work backwards and uh, I'm gonna just snug these up by spinning them and then once I have my wheel straight so if you can see you can see that uh, when I did this top one, it pulled the wheel actually flat against the surface of your um, your hub. I'm gonna go in a star pattern. You can go by hand for these just to take up some of the slack. This same pattern works for for all um, wheel lug counts. So if you have six, eight, four, or five, you're gonna do a star pattern. Now that my uh, lugs are on snug I know that my wheel is straight I'm going to let the pressure down or unscrew my jack if you're working with a hydraulic jack one of the safety factors I want to talk about is always using a jack stand the jack stand is a uh, adjustable type of um, locking mechanism that would go under here to hold the weight of the vehicle up so that the hydraulics doesn't fail or and you have an accident that way this type of jack doesn't use hydraulics it uses a screw method um, which is a lot safer to leave up like this because there are no hydraulic seals to fail so i'm going to bring this down back on the ground and then i can physically tighten up the lug nuts by hand um, if you were to take this to a shop, you should be using a torque wrench to make sure, ensure that the lug nuts are at the proper torque, um, fastener torque, to make sure that they don't come off. So now that I got this back down on the ground, I'm gonna take my screw jack out, and you would collapse this back down to its original size to fit back in the car, and fold the handle over. Before you are done, you're gonna need to go back over to the, the lug nuts, and you're gonna start at the top again and tighten them um, as much as you can as much as you can turn them by hand should be should be sufficient in an emergency situation uh, until you can get to a shop that has a torque wrench to ensure that your your lugs are at the correct torque so this is my fifth one and i should be ready and safe to roll again okay thank you